This is Industry Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we analyze a different industry. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about the insurance industry. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome to another original video brought to you by our team here at Alux.com. In this video, we're going to discover the 15 things you didn't know about the insurance industry. Health is not new. Property is not new. And the truth is, it's very difficult in modern society to get by without either. There's a range of insurance companies for life insurance, health insurance, automobile insurance, and the list goes on and on. Furthermore, the insurance industry's financial volume is expected to grow with inflation and population growth. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. But let's just dive in, shall we, and get a better look at the 15 things you didn't know about the insurance industry. Number 1. The highest earning insurance company in the world is MetLife Inc. MetLife Inc. falls into the life insurance category of insurance companies and happens to be the top earner. With 13.3% of the life insurance market share, it outcompetes health insurance companies. In 2017, it wrote $86,621,636 in premiums. This means a lot of people will sleep easier, knowing that if they die in their sleep, the future of their loved ones is in account. Number 2. The most expensive insurance premium is for a Dodge Viper. The most expensive insurance premium seems to be an auto insurance premium, and it's that of a Dodge Viper, particularly in the state of Michigan. Its premium is $4,048 per year due to the car's ability to go from 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds. The car is made for speed, and speed is made for tickets and accidents. So, the Viper chimes in with a hefty price tag in the insurance department. The car has a V10 engine, and among 2,300 models were determined to be the most expensive to insure. Number 3. The highest life insurance policy is held by a private techie in Silicon Valley for $201 million. The highest life insurance policy is held by a private techie in Silicon Valley for $201 million. The previous world record for life insurance was held by an American entertainer for $100 million. One may ask why an individual would purchase such a large sum of life insurance. Well, according to CNBC, it's mostly for estate planning and financial reasons. The interesting fact here is that the policy is divided between 19 different companies, and no one company holds more than $20 million in risk. Number 4. Auto insurance in Detroit runs over $5,000 per year. In a city once known for manufacturing automobiles, a strange happening has arrived. Increased auto insurance premiums. The Detroit average is $7,415, four times the national average and twice the state average. What's worse, the city is designed for motor traffic and has a failing public transit system, so the expense is almost unavoidable. Many drive without insurance or register their addresses outside of the city. Number 5. The insurance industry is worth $5.02 trillion. With a combination of health, life, and property insurances, it's no wonder this industry has grown. In modern society, almost anything can be insured, and many items and health concerns are. When one reads of the insurance policy of the techie in Silicon Valley, it's not an unfair question to wonder, where is all of this going? Number 6. The first half of 2018 saw 247 mergers and acquisitions worth $28.6 billion. 
An increasing trend in the insurance industry is centralization. The value of mergers and acquisitions rose steeply in the last year alone. In the first half of 2017, there were 301 mergers and acquisitions, worth $10.1 billion, and the value has doubled in this year alone. The increasing dependence on insurance as a backup plan is driving insurance capital through the roof. Number 7. The average person will spend $231,000 on health insurance alone during their lifetime. Adjusted for inflation and minor dependency, an average American will spend almost a quarter of a million dollars on health insurance alone in their lifetime. This is a significant percentage of wealth, considering how many years one can live in retirement on that sum. When you factor in life, auto, and home insurance, you can definitely see why the industry is so wealthy. Number 8. AXA is considered a top insurer partly because of its presence in China. AXA, though probably not a household name in the U.S., is a large global player in the insurance industry. It has holdings in North and South America, Africa, Asia, and Europe. It recently purchased 50% holdings in Tianping, a major Chinese insurer. The company's net worth is sitting at $40.6 billion. Number 9. The highest paid insurance agents can make on average $116,940 per year. Do you personally know your contracted insurance agent? Have you ever talked money with them outside of your policy? Well, just to snoop around their wallet, the top 10% of insurance agents have an average salary of around $117,000 per year. This evidently is highly dependent on commissions and fees and is also dependent on the type of insurance they offer. But the next time you're on the phone with your auto insurance company, just consider that your agent might easily be able to cover your dinner. Number 10. The average silver deductible in Florida is $6,913. Florida is living in the best of times and the worst of times. Among a ranking of the 50 states, Florida has the highest silver plan deductible. That's the worst. But also among the 50 states, they have the most people enrolling for plans. That's the best. As of 2017, 1.7 million people were enrolled in healthcare plans. With many retirees, they seem to be enjoying their golden years. And Aluxers, if you'd like to know some more about this interesting state, you can check out our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Florida, by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Jewish Lightning Contributes Significantly to Increased Premiums. The term Jewish lightning is used synonymously with arson for the intent of collecting insurance money. There is some evidence in literature that insurance was happening as long ago as the Roman Empire. To this day, insurance fraud is a significant portion of claims and increases premiums each year. The government has enacted legislation to stop such claims, but unfortunately they still do occur. Number 12. It's not just celebrities who purchase body part insurance. If you've kept up with your favorite celeb, you've probably heard of this type of insurance. The common person's policy is death and dismemberment, but there is a vague territory in which body parts become defined as the person's assets, such as a wine buyer needing his sense of taste and smell. These policies, though, carry a hefty price, as they are usually written from scratch and are highly specialized. Number 13. In the U.S., the top two health insurance companies might surprise you. When you think of health insurance, there are probably a few names which easily come to mind. While one would assume that these companies are the most profitable, according to one source, they may not be. At the top of the list is United Health Group and WellPoint Inc. Group. Other insurers like Humana, Atena, and Blue Cross Blue Shield are still in the top 25, but do not take the cake. As implied before, insurance is a constantly growing and changing market. Number 14. In Australia, life insurance is tax-deductible for self-employed people. 
While much insurance in the U.S., such as health insurance, goes through employers, there are some countries where life insurance is tax-deductible for self-employed persons. Australia is a prime example. In the land down under, life insurance for self-employed and sustainably self-employed persons are able to deduct from their taxes their life insurance premiums. These are, however, under the condition of age limits. It seems like there's usually a catch. Number 15. The injury of an athlete at a professional sporting event can void a dismemberment claim. There are several causes of death which void a life insurance claim, such as suicide, alcohol, or non-prescription drug poisoning, or natural causes. But did you know that an athlete who loses a limb due to professional sporting event-related injuries does not necessarily receive dismemberment proceeds? Well, Aluxers, that's a wrap on the ever-growing world of the insurance industry. If you're thinking about specializing in something that won't become outdated in the future, then this seems to be a rather safe bet, unless we all go broke. But before we go, Aluxers, we're curious. What's your most expensive cost on insurance? Is it health, life, auto? We'd love to know. Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Number 16. Electric car insurance runs 21% higher than their gas counterparts. With electric cars entering the market in growing numbers, one may occasionally wonder what the insurance bill is like. Well, the answer is, it's higher. As of this year, electric car parts are more expensive and more expensive to replace. So if you're thinking about getting yourself an electric car, make sure to check out all of the statistics. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.